you all for joining us today. I know it's hard to believe, but there's at least a little bit of breeze because this thing blew over. <laughs> so hopefully we'll feel more of it. I'd be glad to hold it up if it's going to have a decent breeze. Welcome to the fourth annual Scott Whitford Unsung Hero of the Year Award Ceremony. My name is Jim Davis. I'm the Vice President of Nursing. Most of you know me. Um, Scott Whitford was a dedicated member of the Caroline East family for over seven years, serving as a carpenter and facility services. Uh, Scott exhibited the here to serve attitude in all that he did. Um, he would often be seen working, painting, or whatever the job was, and you'd hear him singing or whistling. He was always here to serve and always serving someone. On June 17, 2017, Scott, with his servant's heart, courageously saved the lives of two young ladies from a pow powerful rip current at the beach, losing his own life during that. For that reason, we named this award the Scott Whitford Unsung Hero of the Year Award. The Unsung Hero of the Year Award, uh, the Unsung Hero Award was initially uh, created as a way of intentionally recognizing people who may not be recognized other way, in any other way. Um, to provide recognition for people for doing what they do uh, with a servant's heart and because they see an opportunity, they do whatever it is that needs to be done and um, they act on it. This award is normally awarded multiple times a year. The Carolina East Unsung Heroes don't expect or even want to be recognized. They do what they do because it's the right thing to do. Every encounter, every opportunity, every day, no exception. And they do it in such a special, caring manner. So beginning in 2017, we started awarding the Scott Whitford Unsung Hero of the Year Award. And this award is open for submissions from staff and leaders alike. And all of the Unsung Heroes of the Year have been outstanding leaders within our hospital, whether they were in leadership roles or not. The Employee Recognition Committee, led by Linda Pope, facilitates this award each year. Employees selected for this award are those who do not only embody the Excellence Begins With Me standards, but are, the, are here to serve, but also go above and beyond to help others in some special way, whether it's inside Carolina East or outside of Carolina East. This award has been awarded three times in the past, and the recipients are nothing less than spectacular servants themselves. I'd like to call each of the past three winners up. The inaugural winner in 2017 was Jamie Keene, the clinical manager of the emergency department. The 2018 recipient was Jamie Murphy, PCT on CDO. And the 2019 recipient was Shauna Knight, clinical manager of women's and children's. I could stand here all day and tell you about all the things that each of these people did to be recognized, but it wasn't really one thing because they've continued to do those things over the many years that they've been here at Carolina East serving. Um, I'm going to ask them to stay up here today so that when, after Ray comes up and speaks in a minute, they will help us unveil this year's uh, recipient. So this year the candidates were numerous and even more incredible. I would like to recognize our president, CEO, Ray Leggett as he will share with you more information about this year's Scott Whitford Hero, Unsung Hero of the Year Award winner. Jim doesn't usually clap for me. I like that. <laughs> Sorry, I have to grab my mask. You just got a text. Get some milk when you come home. <laughs> loaf of bread. I tell you what I should do is to point to these uh, three folks behind us, we'll just sing a closing hymn and leave. Doesn't get any better than this, does it? <laughs> I'm such a big fan of the employee recognition team and I just want to take a minute to thank them for ordering this nice cool day. <laughs> There's something running down the middle of my back, I'm not sure what it is. I'm either bleeding or sweating like a thief in church, yeah, I don't know what it is. Uh, thank you for being here today. Thank you for what you do each and every day for our organization and those that we serve. 
What you do makes a difference in people's lives. What you do makes us a better place to live. Not just Newber, not just Craven County, not just this community, but this entire region of North Carolina. You are the safety net. Never forget that. You are the safety net for this entire region. Thank you for doing such an outstanding job in that role. These are unusual times. Look around. This is not how we usually celebrate this. Um, I was watching the news this morning. I'm getting ready to get off my script, and that's when I usually get in trouble. So for those of you who enjoy it when I say something I shouldn't say, get ready. Okay. <laughs> I was watching the news this morning. I, I had uh, <coughs> forgotten, really, to be honest with you. It was 9-11 and I was watching it. First of all, it doesn't seem possible that it was that long ago. Second of all, wow, it's still emotional to watch those pictures and seeing how everybody uh, was reacting. Uh, and the last thing I thought about was, these are unusual times, those were unusual times. And we got, we got through that as a country and we'll get through this uh, this too shall pass. I'm just not sure how soon. I know what you're thinking. I'm sweating. Hurry up, Ray. <laughs> but one thing that's not unusual is how you guys have responded to these unusual times and this worldwide pandemic. As always, you have answered the call. You've stepped up, answered the call, and you are doing what you always do. And that's taking care of this entire region of North Carolina. You pushed aside your personal comfort and at times your personal safety. And you made sure that your friends, family, and neighbors were well taken care of. You guys are simply amazing. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of this organization. It's kind of like that sign says out front, not all heroes wear capes. And you guys are simply the best of the best. Thank you for that. When the Carolina East Recognition Team started their wonderful work on this terrific event, they of course began to discuss who deserves this award in this very unusual year. The Recognition Team kept coming back to one thing, how unusual the year has been, and how you guys have responded to the COVID pandemic. How wonderfully you have responded, 24-7, 365. How wonderfully you've taken care of your friends, your neighbors, your loved ones, and some people that you don't love. <laughs> with that in mind, they came forward with what I thought was just a terrific idea. This year's winner of the Scott Whitford Unsung Hero Award are the COVID heroes that make up Carolina East. I had to step away, my voice is cracking. No one is more deserving of this award in this crazy year than you guys. God bless you, the Carolina East heroes, for your unprecedented response to this pandemic and for all the lives that you have saved. Thank you very much. As you probably remember in the past, there's been a $1,000 cash award associated with this uh, Scott Whitford Award. $500 of that went to the individual winner and $500 was given as a donation to the appropriate nonprofit organization of the winner's choosing. The recognition team came up with what I think was another great idea. Other than the weather, they're pretty darn good. They came up with another great idea. During this unusual year, what we're going to do is we're going to combine the two amounts and we're going to use the entire $1,000 to assist the healthcare workers at the Lake Charles Memorial Hospital who have been devastated by the hurricane and the flooding that they've been through in Louisiana, remembering just a couple of years ago what that feels like. The $1,000 will be added to the more than $18,000 that has already been raised from our organization for this heartfelt project. And next week, the Carolina East Foundation will be shipping 
more than $18,000 worth of gift cards from Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, and Target to the Lake Charles Memorial Hospital to help their employees get back on their feet, much like we received two years ago after that hurricane whose name I refuse to use. What a, what a wonderful way to use this awards $1,000 to help our fellow hospital workers in this devastated section of Louisiana. Thank you, Team Carolina East, for making that happen. The weather outside is not very great today, but once again, the sun is shining very brightly at Carolina East Health System, and it is because of you, the heroes of Carolina East Health System. Thank you for all you do. Congratulations. <laughs> Sorry. Congratulations to all of you. You deserve another round of applause. You, you are the Scott Whitford Unsung Hero of the Year 2020. Thank you for all that you've done. Thank you for all that you do every day. Thank you for joining us here today. And right over to my left, you'll find the Kona Ice Truck. So ha go have some Kona Ice. I don't think it'll melt quite as fast as we are, but enjoy it. And thank you for coming today. Congratulations. This trophy will be displayed in honor of you in our trophy case this year and for many years to come. The plaque in the chapel with Scott's picture and the stain is has been engraved to recognize you for this award.